a serious video. Our program just crashed. Dude! Really? That was better. That was psychotic. See, so not everything's bad about doing a retake. Yeah, we this is a redo video because the other video, uh, you know... Crashed. Is because of antiquated operator. This computer is only like three years old. and I mean, I don't know why it's doing that. Yeah. It's not yeah. the operator. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he got it. He got it. <laughs> he got it. Took him a little bit, but he got it. All right, very serious video. Serious hat. Serious pants. Mm. Today we're going to be talking about the savages. They're called Hamas. Yeah. So, uh, as y'all know, they went into Israel three weeks ago, October 7th, and murdered 1,400 people, including a bunch of people having fun at a festival. And kids. They beheaded kids, kids. burned them alive, went and hunted, hunted down old people. Um, yeah, they killed some dudes. This, this is not. This is not the, the. This is not the actions of somebody who's trying to get their country back. No. 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 This is this is the actions of people who just simply want to export. Well, as Net as Netanyahu as Netanyahu said, yeah. I mean they hate they want to wipe Israel off the face of the map. That's what Iran wants. That's what the Muslim most Muslims want. Palestinians, if you want to call them that, they all want to wipe Israel off the map. That's why they go in and they slaughter children and women and old people along with the dudes. Yep, it has nothing to do with free Palestine. Nothing to do with freedom. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot you cannot tell me that you can condone this. I mean, if you do, then like I was making a I was making a comparison. Mm -hmm. It's just just like being a Nazi sympathizer in the 1930s, uh, 1940 or 1930 uh, something. 30s, yeah. Yeah, uh, but um, but it's just like being it's exactly the same thing, you know. Yeah. And and if you don't see it that way. Then you need to. You're corrupt. You need yeah, to change your way. You really thinking. need to reevaluate really, your mental. Yeah, state. you're you need, corrupt. You it's need horrible. to pay attention to the fact that these people have a right to life. You know, they have a right to live. And if you feel that the other side also has a right to live, uh, yeah. Once you start doing something that forces other people's rights to be infringed, then obviously you're you're in the wrong. So I think paragliding into an EDM concert to murder innocent people without weapons. Might be might be forcing other people to give up some of their rights. I don't know, like like life. One of the reasons, everything that Damon just said. One of the reasons we wanted to do this video is after we talked about the savages, we wanted to talk about why these kinds of things happen, why they're allowed to happen, and the reason this happened was appeasement by Israel, United States, and other Western countries who say who tell Israel that they're not allowed to go in and wipe out Hamas. You know, if Hamas didn't exist, this wouldn't have happened. But Israel has allowed them to exist since 2007 and be in charge of the Gaza Strip. And if you allow those kinds of savages to live nearby... Yeah, I mean, they're going to yeah. export their terrorism on you. Eventually, they're going to come looking for you. Yep. And they're going to come up with new and inventive ways. Because everybody knows that they want to eliminate, they want they want a genocide of Jews in Israel, and they they have not made any secret. Nope, nope. It's, it's literally uh, in their articles of uh, of uh, uh, in their in their basically articles of um, coming together or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, their Muslim declarations yeah. and stuff. They say that kind well, of well. The, the um the um uh what are, what are they called the uh, the fuckers that it's in there. It's it was it was like the second paragraph in their um. In their pledge, their article mm -hmm. pledge, when they when they got um, uh, elected to power, yeah, when Hamas got elected to power, it's literally there. It says, you know, uh, you know yeah, it's no secret. No. no, it's no secret. It's right there, you know, like right forefront. And then the backers, Hamas themselves, would have a hard time existing along with Hezbollah, who's in Lebanon, north of Israel. These two terrorist organizations would have a difficult time surviving if Iran didn't fund them and send them arms. Iran is back is backing is behind all of this. Oh, we sent them to we sent Palestine ten million dollars. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the America US. America sent Palestine yeah. ten million. Uh, sent Israel fourteen million for aid. Yeah, for aid. Yeah, you know, because we got to aid them. You know, mm -hmm. got to aid them in their in their uh, in their conquest. In their, yeah, this whole thing about there needs to be a free Palestine is just bullshit. It's just bullshit because they their whole mo is to murder the Israelis. No, yeah. None of those people, of those Muslims in the Middle East, want Israel to exist. Even though a lot of them got their 
their areas after World War II because the British said, okay, we're out. Here you go. You get this, you get this, you get this. But that's not good enough for the Muslims. They don't want to live beside the Jews. The Jews, by the way, who've been there longer than anybody else. So they, they just don't want it. But Iran, the thing, the fact that, the, that America allows Iran to exist, the Ara Iranian regime to, resi to, to exist, is a, is a crime. I mean, we know what they did in 1980, you know, 1979. With the, uh, with the, the um, hostage Olympics? crisis. Yeah. No, the hostage crisis where Iran went into the U.S. embassy and they had over 400 U.S. hostages in 1979, while, while, in 1980, while Carter was the president. And then Reagan said he was going to take care of everything once he became president on January 20th of 1981. And so what did Iran do knowing that that was going to be the case? They freed the hostages within hours of, of Reagan becoming president. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the way you handle these kinds of regimes. Re Reagan was going to come in and he was going to annihilate their fucking regime. And they knew this. But then, but since then, it's been appeasement. And so the Iranian savages have been allowed to exist now for 40 plus years since they got rid of the Shah back in 1979. And so if you allow that kind of regime to exist in the world, they're going to export their terrorism. Yeah, because there's no there's no drawback to doing it. You know, mm -hmm. they, they have never faced the consequences of the actions whatsoever. So they're allowed to get away with this. And we have sympathizers for this shit. Yep. We have people saying that, you know, free what free Palestine. Yep. Well, in Congress here. Yeah, we, we were just chatting about this before we got on the show here. You got the squad. They're the called squad. the squad. Yeah, yeah. The squad in Congress. And who are, who are they, Damon? Those four, the they, four ditzes. Four. Rashid Tlaib, uh, Sumner Presley, AOC, Eric AOC, Alexander, Kazi uh, Cortez, and, and Omar, Ilan Omar. Yeah, Ilan Omar. I'm, I'm impressed you remember those four. All right, so those four are part of what's the so called squad. They're ditzes. Yeah. They're the axis of dits, okay? Axis of evil. axis. Yeah. And so, but they, they are pro Palestine. Yeah, which is insane. And but, how how can you be pro Palestine after the the murder, the savage murder of these fourteen hundred people? Okay, and I'd like to draw a line here. This is this is very easy. It's super easy. I am pro people until they decide they want to kill other people. Until they decide that they want to hurt other people just simply for whatever discrimination uh, they they uh, they hold dear. Mm -hmm. So I'm pro you, you sitting there at the keyboard. But I'm not pro going in there and fucking killing people. I'm not. I'm not, I'm just not pro going in there and assaulting and hurting and killing innocent, innocent people. I'm just. People. I'm just not. And I, I never will be. And there, there's the line. There's the line. So if you believe that somebody should be dead because of their life choices, like you know, for instance, being gay or uh, or whatever the case, or or being a different color or anything like that, then I'm not with you. We yeah. are not. We are not together. I. You are my. You are my enemy. Yeah. Simple as that. Because you are violating the the most fundamental principle of freedom, yeah. of of individualism. And if you want to look at this on a local level, imagine that there's some organization in America that says, you know, we want our land, and we we demand to have it, but we think everybody else in America should be dead. I mean, that's the way Hamas and a lot of the Palestinians are in the Gaza Strip and in Jordan and in Lebanon and in the West Bank. They want they want Israelis murdered. So what if we had an organization like that in America? Would they have a right to their land? And 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 they threw and they they regularly sent rockets over into neighborhoods and other states in America. What do you think would happen to that organization? Or they or I mean we could even put it on a smaller scale if they regularly just started shooting. Yeah. In in a whole uh, the a whole other area in a neighborhood you know near schools and all this other stuff. I mean. You obviously wouldn't wouldn't uh, agree with that, but but the thing is, it's not affecting you. It's not really affecting you. You're you're not there. You're not there. You don't have to live it every single day. So you can sit there and you can sit there, or not, obviously maybe not our viewers, but maybe somebody who's watching this video who might have been on the fence might have been like, Meh, maybe I don't. I support Bowser. No. You, if it, if it affected you that way, it, that's that's funny. It's funny to me, actually. That's when people decide that they actually care, mm -hmm. is when it hits home. Well, yeah. guess what? It hits home for us already. I care. I care about the Israelites who have, the Israelis who got murdered, 
who died for no reason other than they really wanted to go out and have a party. Yep. And they were who they were. That was yep. it. That was the only reason why they got killed. Yep. But we're going to point, I mean, as, as much of a travesty as this is, I mean, it's off the charts. This bloody travesty is off the charts. But this needs to be a lesson. Mm. This needs to be a wake-up call to the Israeli government. They're wake going, up. Yeah, wake up. They're yeah. going, now they're going in with their tanks. They need to go in and completely take over Gaza. They need to make it part of Israel and run it as part of Israel. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the savages who are hiding in their tunnels right now. They're supposed to be, they're supposed to be over a hundred miles of tunnels underneath Gaza. Where I believe it. Hamas, I, I believe. which is you, which has been using the money that America has been sending to Palestine. They've been using that money and the Iranian money to build their tunnels and to hide their weapons and to hide fuel and other things. So they need to go out and get these vipers out of their out of their tunnels, wipe them all out, destroy the tunnels, take over the government in Gaza and make it part of Israel. Annex that, annex the entire strip, make it part of Israel and get rid of all the murderers. That's They need to do it. I mean, if they don't do it now, when are they gonna do it? If they don't do it, this is gonna happen again. Mm -hmm. Yep, more innocent people more are gonna innocent die. People are gonna die for one and a half fun. Mm -hmm. for, for existing. For existing. I don't believe anybody should have to die for existing. Mm -hmm. yep. I don't believe that is that is that is normal. And, this, and if you think that it is, then we're not friends. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just got to happen. You got to you got to annex. You got to take it over. I mean, it, this is this is this is not unprecedented. The Israelis did this with the Golan Heights. Mm -hmm. uh, they took it away from Syria during I think it was the seventy three war, which was fifty years ago, and they they realized that as long as the the height the Syria, the the terrorists in Syria own the heights right in northern Israel. As long as they had that, they could come in anytime. They could swoop down and murder Israelis. Well, the Israelis are like, "Fuck it, we're, we're, we're done with this." So they ended up going in, beat up on the on the Syrians and the savages. They went in, they took it over. They there was a giant up on the hill and everything. They took up, and they've had the Golan Heights for fifty years now. But the pro pro Palestinians and pro terrorists say, "Oh no, we don't recognize the fact that Israel has the Golan Heights." Well, tough shit. They do. Yep. And now they need to do this in the in the Gaza Strip. It's got to be done. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this shit just keeps on happening. Mm -hmm. You got to. It's it's real real politic. It's got to you. You've got to deal with bad people. If you don't deal with them, they'll come after you. Yeah, you can't yeah. ignore these. You can't you can't and ignore them. And you can't deal with them in a diplomatic way. These people these people are not diplomats. They are absolute savages. And they've proven time and time again that words mean absolutely nothing. Yep. Yeah, don't listen to their promises, because what does a promise mean? It means absolutely nothing. It means nothing. On the dead ears of the of, of the children, ask them ask them what the promise meant. Oh shit, they're dead. They have no more history. They don't get to live. Mm -hmm. And think it's, about that. Yeah, let that congeal in your mind for a moment. Yeah. Those burned alive children. Ask them what your pro Palestine words mean to them. You can't. And as much as I hate to say it. It's the Israeli government's fault. You let them, you let the, the savages live right next door, within feet, yards, meters of your borders. This is bound to happen. And they're being, everybody knows they've been funded and armed by Iran. And, Is, and Israel has the ability to wipe out the Iranian government, the Iranian regime. Which, by the way, most Iranian people hate. I mean, the Iranians have tried. They've had several revolutions, as y'all know, for the last 40 years. And all of them have been put down and, and mercilessly murdered by the Iranian regime. It's a terrorist organization. So its existence, North Korean existence, the, the Hamas and Hezbollah existence, they're all murderers. You can't allow them to exist. So this is the Iranian government's fault. And by the way, all of the stuff that we're talking about is reactionary to their action. Yeah, we are not pro we are not promoting or no. condoning. I love this going in and attacking and killing somebody just for existing. No, at all. It's when they export their their terrorism and when they export their murder or when they continually murder their own citizens when they're murdering. They are pillaging. They are raping. They are destroying people who are trying to exist they are the enemies they are but the thing is 
when they've already pronounced their intent, that's when you take them out. When they've already shown who they are. Mm -hmm. And the fact is, terrorists will always export their terrorism. They can't help themselves. That's what the North Korean dictator does. That's what Iran does. It's what Pakistan, Saudi Arabia did during, during 2001, 9-11. Uh, I mean, the, the, the reason all those things happened, that was, by the way, America's fault, the American government's fault. 9-11 was the American government's fault. So allowing those kinds of regimes to exist means that they're, that they're funding the people who are going to come after free people. So it has to be nipped in the bud. It ha they have to be killed before they kill. This has to happen. It's, you know, if you're going to be realistic, or, you got to be realistic about this kind of stuff. So yeah, this is this is a serious show. But I mean, the, the main thing we wanted to point out was as much of a travesty as this is, and as much as we love Israel, Israel's an amazing country. I love them. I love those guys. They're badasses. The IDF, oh man. I mean, those, they're bad asses. I wish America... <laughs> shut, up. shut up. I wish America would be as badass a lot of times as Israel because Israel does not pull any punches. But they have been pulling punches on Hamas and Hezbollah. And by the way, mm -hmm. while, while they're taking out Hamas, they need to go out and take out Hezbollah. During this whole thing, I don't know if you knew about this, but in the last three weeks, Hezbollah, the terrorists in, in Lebanon have been shooting rockets into northern Israel yeah. mm -hmm. and coming like, down and attacking Israel. Yeah. yeah. Take them out too. Take them out. And then ta take out that part of Lebanon. Just annex it. Annex more of Syria because Syria funds this shit also. Just make Israel bigger. And while you're at it, take out the West Bank. Annex the West Bank also. Yeah. Do it. Do it for freedom. Do it for rights. Eagle screaming somewhere. Yeah! Don't we have a new constitution? Oh, I didn't know. That's crazy. Do we? Huh. Yes, we do. It's crazy. We have Holy a brand new... Crap. Yeah. We have a brand new U.S. constitution that... I always put it in the wrong place. <laughs> I will do that. That we wrote that respects rights. Did you just put your finger in your nose when I was talking about the U.S. constitution? I'm gonna, that's where I'm going to put the U.S. constitution. I'm going to put it right in your freaking nose like we did one another time. Let's see if you can actually do it. I can do it. I did it that other time and yeah. you didn't even look at the video. Nope. I don't watch your videos. There are videos. <laughs> I don't watch your videos before. Uh, oh my <laughs> god, you just ramble serious. on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. Bye. See y'all next time. That was lame. You lame.